Hi, this is Kaiser. I'm a PhD student from Arizona State University. Today, I would like to introduce our work, Few Shot Network Anomaly Detection via Cross Network Meta Learning at the web conference. At the beginning, I would like to thank all the co authors, Ching Hai, Dr. Han Han Tong, and especially my supervisor, Dr. Huan Lu, for the help on this work. Network Anomaly Detection, also known as Graph Anomaly Detection, its learning objective is to detect those anomalous nodes whose patterns deviate significantly from the other majority nodes. In this work, we focus on attribute networks. Basically, there are two information modalities in an attribute network. The topological structure which contains the information about the connections between nodes and the nodal attributes which characterize the features of each node. So, for detecting anomalies on attribute networks, we need to consider both of the two information modalities and also the interactions between them. Network anomaly detection or graph anomaly detection has wide applications in real-world scenarios. For example, network intrusion detection, social spammer detection, and the existence of even few abnormal instances could cause extremely detrimental effects. The problem of network anomaly detection has received much attention in both the industrial and academic communities. As we know, it is costly and labor-intensive to obtain the label information of anomalies. So network anomaly detection methods are usually developed in an unsupervised manner. As a prevalent paradigm, reconstruction-based methods have shown their effectiveness in this task. The intuition is that those nodes whose patterns deviate significantly from the majority cannot be accurately reconstructed from the observed data. Followed by this idea, a series of methods based on matrix factorization and graph autoencoders have been proposed. However, unsupervised anomaly detection methods are still not good enough. The main reason is that those methods cannot leverage any supervised signals. The anomalies they identify may turn out to be dead noises or uninteresting data instances due to the lack of prior knowledge on the anomalies of interest. But again, we are not allowed to access large amounts of label data. So one interesting research question to ask is, is it possible to leverage low-cost supervision signals to build the model performance? In this work, we propose a new approach to answer that question. The design of our framework is based on two observations. First, we should note that a small set of labeled anomalies are easy to be collected in real-world scenarios. They could be either from a deployed detection system or be provided by user feedback. But at the same time, the problem is that different types of anomalies have distinct behaviors. It is hard to precisely characterize the abnormal patterns with only limited knowledge of anomalies. So our first challenge is that how to effectively detect anomalies on network with limited label data. In the meantime, labeled anomalies usually scattered among other networks within the same domain of the target network. For example, LinkedIn and Indeed have similar social networks that represent user friendship in the job search domain. So we could further exploit such valuable auxiliary knowledge of anomalies. But anomalies in different networks may be from very different manifolds, which may cause unstable results and negative transfer. As learning from multiple networks could provide more comprehensive knowledge, how to transfer the knowledge of anomalies from multiple networks is a critical challenge to be solved. To enable anomaly detection on an arbitrary network with limited label data, we first propose a new family of graph neural networks called graph deviation networks. The high level idea is to enforce statistically significant deviations between abnormal and normal nodes in an anomaly score space. As shown in the left figure, since anomalies usually have distinct patterns, existing methods may easily fail to distinguish them from normal nodes in the latent representation space with only few labeled anomalies. But in this work, by learning compact anomaly scores for normal data, while scattered and deviated score for anomalies, 
they can be well separated in an anomaly space, as shown in the right figure. A graph division network is composed of three parts, a network encoder for learning node representations, an abnormality evaluator for estimating the anomaly score for each node, and a division loss for training the whole network. JDN first uses a JN backbone anomaly score learner to assign each node with an anomaly score and then defines the mean of the anomaly scores based on a prior probability to serve as a reference score for guiding the subsequent anomaly score learning. By leveraging a deviation loss, JDN is able to enforce statistically significant deviations between the anomaly scores of abnormal and normal nodes in the anomaly score space. It is worth mentioning that the network encoder is compatible with arbitrary GN-based architecture, which can learn expressive node representations from the input network. The abnormality evaluator is built with two feed-forward layers that transform the hidden node representations to scalar anomaly scores. Specifically, um, Gaussian distribution is commonly a robust choice to fit the abnormality scores for a wide range of datasets. Based on this assumption, we first sample a set of uh, anomaly scores from the Gaussian prior distribution, and each of which denotes the abnormality of a random normal node. The reference score is computed as the mean value of the, all the sampled scores, with the reference score the deviation bit between the anomaly score of a node VI and the reference score can be defined in the form of standard score, and the parameters of a graph deviation networks will be updated according to the Z-score based deviation loss. Having the proposed graph deviation networks, we are able to effectively detect anomalies on arbitrary network with limited label data. When auxiliary networks from the same domain of the target network are available, how to transfer such valuable knowledge is the key to enable few shot anomaly detection on the target network. However, if we directly borrow the idea of existing cross network learning methods, the performance would be rather limited. The main reason is that those methods only focus on transferring the knowledge from a single network, which may cause negative transfer due to the divergent patterns of anomalies on different networks. That's why we tend to exploit multiple auxiliary networks to distill comprehensive knowledge of anomalies. As an effective paradigm for extracting and transferring knowledge, meta-learning has recently received increasing research attention because of the broad applications in different domains. In essence, the goal of meta-learning is to train a model on a pool of meta-training tasks. So, so the learned model is capable of effectively adapting to new tasks with very few or even one label data. In this work, we further propose a new cross-network meta-learning framework for transferring the knowledge of anomalies from multiple networks. Specifically, we define each learning task as performing few-shot anomaly detection an individual network, whose objective is to enforce large anomaly scores to be assigned to anomalies. By optimizing the objective of GDN, the updated model parameters can preserve the capability of detecting anomalies on each network. By optimizing on different few-shot network anomaly detection tasks during the meta-training phase, meta-GDN extracts meta-knowledge of ground truth anomalies from auxiliary networks. The meta learner GDN will be further fine-tuned for the new task on the target network such that the model can make fast and effective adaptation. To evaluate the effectiveness of our proposed framework, we adopt three widely used public datasets, Yelp, PubMed, and Reddit in our experiments. For each dataset, we sample four auxiliary networks and one target network. Also, as we do not have the ground truth labels of anomalies, we follow the previous research uh, to inject a combined set of structural and contextual anomalies. Next, we introduce the baseline methods in our comparisons. Here, we include both the value-based and graph-based anomaly detection methods 
as shown in this table, among all these baselines, dominant or GAE, semi-GN and our approach meta-GDN and its base model JDN are all graph neural network-based methods. Deep SAD and semi-GN are two semi-supervised anomaly detection baselines, but they require relatively large number of labeled anomalies. In contrast, JDN and meta-GDN only use very limited labeled anomalies. Also, different from all the other methods, MetaGDN is able to learn from multiple networks. We first evaluate the model performance on the target network with 10 labeled anomalies. For each auxiliary network, we also assume there are 10 labeled abnormal nodes. This table shows the model performance in terms of AOC ROC and AOC PR. As we can see from the table, our approach MetaGDN outperforms all the other compared baselines by a significant margin. At the same time, unsupervised methods such as dominant, reader, are not able to leverage supervised knowledge of labeled anomalies and therefore have limited performance. Semi-supervised methods such as deep SAD, semi-GN also fail to deliver good results. The possible explanation is that deep SAD cannot model network information and semi-GN requires a relatively large number of labeled data which makes them less effective in our evaluation. Meanwhile, the results in terms of precision at K again demonstrate that MetaGDN can better rank abnormal nodes on higher positions than the other methods by estimating accurate anomaly scores. Compared to the base model GDN, MetaGDN is capable of extracting comprehensive meta-knowledge across multiple auxiliary networks. The proposed cross-network meta-learning algorithm um, can further enhance the detection performance on the target network. In order to verify the effectiveness of meta-GDN in few-shot as well as one-shot network anomaly detection, we evaluate the model performance of our approach with different numbers of labeled anomalies on the target network. Note that we still keep the number of labeled anomalies on auxiliary networks as 10. We can see that even with only one labeled anomaly on the target network, MetaGDN can still achieve good performance and outperforms all the baseline methods. In the meantime, we can clearly observe that the performance of MetaGDN increases with the growth of number of labeled anomalies, which demonstrates that MetaGDN can be better fine-tuned on the target network with more labeled anomalies. At the end, I would like to highlight some takeaways from this work. First, unsupervised anomaly detection methods may lose its efficacy due to the lack of a prior knowledge of anomalies. At the same time, GDN can effectively detect anomalies with limited label data by enforcing the deviations between abnormal and normal nodes. Also, based on the cross-network meta-learning algorithm, MetaGDN achieved the goal of future network anomaly detection on the target network by transferring the knowledge from multiple auxiliary networks. If you are interested in our work, please check out our paper for more details. And also, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. I would like to discuss with you guys.